Hello, you wonderful people. In this video, I'm gonna show you something that I've been working on recently. If you love Astro or you're building things with Astro and you've been exploring headless CMSs like Strapi, today I'm gonna to show you how I build an Astro loader that allows you to easily load data from your Strapi application. Now, this is work in progress, so feel free to check out the repo and give me feedback or make it a PR to make it feel better. So first, let me show you a demo of what I built, and then we're gonna go through the code and talk about the details. And to demo this project, I'm actually gonna show you how you could easily set it up on your own so you could try it yourself. I'm gonna go ahead into this repo, which I'll make sure to link in this video below. I'm gonna click on code, and I'm using GitHub CLI, so I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this command. And in my terminal, I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in and click enter. This is gonna go ahead and download all the dependencies. Then I'm gonna go ahead and CD inside my folder and the help the helpful script. All you need to do is say yarn setup and it's gonna go ahead and install all the necessary dependencies. I think I already said that, but now it's going to set up all the necessary dependencies and install everything we need. Once everything installed, it's also gonna automatically add some C data for this project. Once the data is imported, it's going to finish. And what I'm gonna do first is open my project in VS Code. And here in my server folder, this is where all the strappy code lies. And here in the client, this is where my Astro code lives. And to start a project, I'm just going to type yarn dev. There's a script that I have that's gonna start both your backend and your Astro frontend. And here it's gonna start the Strapi application first. If this is your first time starting the project, you'll be asked to create your first admin user. I'm just gonna go ahead and enter my information and make sure you pick a very secure password. Monkey123 is the best one. And bam, now we are in Strapi. And if you take a look under content manager, under articles, here I have my articles, which is built with a couple of these different blocks. So I'm gonna show you how I created a custom loader in Astro that allows us to load this data, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm rendering this data to the page. And here we have a simple Astro project, and here if we go to Strapi blog, this data is coming from a custom Strapi loader that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. If you click on an individual article, you will see the post rendered with all the different components where I have a hero image, text content, my quote, an image, and a little slider here. And again, I'm using Astro because today we're gonna to talk about Astro loaders. So Astro has this concept of collection loaders where you could create custom collections to point to different resources in your Astro app. Previously, this was done to point either to your markdown files or either a JSON file or so forth. And the benefit of doing that is because it would give you types in your Astro application, making your experience better. So today I'm gonna to show you how to, or how I created a custom loader where you're able to do similar thing, but this time in the new Astro version that's coming out and I'm using it in Astro Four, because I enabled experimental flags here in my Astro project, inside Astro config, notice I'm saying content layer true, and this is gonna enable us to create custom loaders via Astro's content layer. So let me show you what this means. In my Astro project, in pages, if you navigate to our Strapi blog and take a look at the index Astro file, here you will see that I'm calling a method get collections and it's referencing Strapi post loader. So what Astro allows us to do is to define different collection via custom loaders that we could easily use to get the data. And the benefit of that, if I take a look and hover over the Strapi post response, notice that I get all my content types, which is really important and cool when you're working on your front end application and you want the TypeScript benefit to improve your developer experience. So how do you define this loader? In Astro, you're able to create a folder called content, and inside here, you would open a config.ts file. And let me close these for now. And what you're able to do is use Astro's define collection to define a loader for your collection. 
in the first one blog and landing page i'm using their built-in loaders where here all i have to do is just reference the type of data i have this content living inside my content folder for instance for blog i have it living in blog and it's just markdown and for data here i have it living in page data and i'm able to reference this data via these loaders but the cool part instead of referencing in internal content we could actually create a custom loader and this is where i have strappy post loader which allows us to get our data from an external resource in my case it's strappy a headless cms but it could be anything you want and all you would need to do is just define a loader and define your collection and reference your custom loader with this loader attribute so now let's take a look at this loader and what does it do if i go to go definitions and here in my strappy loader and again feel free to download this code and take a look at it and to define a custom loader, you need three things. You need to create a function and call it what you want. And inside here, you need to provide your name, strappy post, a load function, which will be a function that's gonna call your API to get the data and a schema that you want that content to match. So you get TypeScript support. In this case, I'm doing something a little bit interesting because I want my loader to infer the types based on the strappy schema that we have. And to accomplish that, I have this schema function that will go ahead and call an endpoint that I created in strappy via a plugin that's going to give me all my strappy schemas. So for instance, I pass the name of the content type and based on that content type, I am going to return a schema. Then I have a function called generate.schema, which will take my strappy schema it's going to run it through this function that's going to go ahead and match and generate Zod schema based on my strappy schema that I provided. This will be used to validate my data that I received from my strappy endpoint. And again, you could either manually define your schema here, or you could take this dynamic approach where based on the response that you get from a schema that you have, you could dynamically have it generate these types. And inside my load function, I am going ahead and making a fetch call. This is basically a function that calls fetch. I'm getting my data from Strappy. I am looping through that data and I'm returning that data to my loader. And again, feel free to take a look at the code associated with the file, but I want to give you a big overview of how this works. And now I'm able to use that custom loader where I'm able to define a collection and use my Strappy loader where here I could ask to get whatever content I want from Strappy. And in this case, what I'm doing is fetching all my articles. And because of that, in my Strappy blog route and the index page, I'm able to call get collection, pass the definition of my loader, and it's going to go ahead and get my Strappy posts. Then I'm able to iterate through my post to see the data. Now, the last interesting thing I want to show you, if you take a look inside my Strappy application, you're going to see that my content is made up of blocks. For instance, I have a rich text block that is the rich text for my post. I have a quote if you want to add a quote. I have media if you want to add an image. Again, I'm repeating that rich text and slider. And what this allows you to do is to have flexible content for your post. It doesn't have to be just one markdown file. And the content editor could use any one of these blocks when defining the data. So let me show you how we rendered this in Strappy. But before I do, if you take a look in our article, you could see that I have four blocks that I'm using. I'm using media, quote, rich text, and slider. These are Strappy components that define the data from Strappy standpoint. So in my Astra application, if we navigate to components, blocks, you're gonna see that I have those same strappy components built with Astro components. So I have a slider, which is my slider. And again, you could look at the repo to see the details of the code. I have my rich text, which is responsible for rendering my markdown. I have my quote, which handles my quote. And I have media, which handles the images. And what I did, I made a block renderer Astro component 
which takes all the available Astro components that I have available. And we're going to map through all the components and based on the matching component, if it's rich text, if it's a quote, if it's media or slider, it will go ahead and render that component to screen. And what's awesome because of this modularity, we're able to easily add more components here and add an equivalent component into our blocks as an extra component, and then pass it down to this block renderer and render our output to our application. And what's cool, if we take a look at this page, if I go to the first blog, bug is becoming a meme, and we take a look at the layout, a non-developer could easily update it. So here I am in my library, I'm gonna go to articles, and we're going, a bug is becoming a meme, and maybe I don't want to show the slider, I could remove it. And maybe I want the quote to go after the media. So I'm going to move it down. And now I'm gonna publish my changes. And with Strapi, you could have a webhook that would fire when you save the changes, which would rebuild your Astra application. But in development, I'm just gonna restart my dev environment. And once I restart, you could see my updated content, which is pretty cool. So why am I sharing this video? So number one, I love Astro and I wanna build more application with Astro. And obviously I love Strapi, a headless CMS that allows you to easily manage your content. So I'm really excited for this new feature that allows you to build custom loaders that you could use in your Astro application. And again, I used it with Strapi, but you could make a custom loader for a WordPress powered website or an other endpoint. And I love how Astro is giving us this flexibility to allow us to use native data that we're able to store as Markdown or JSON inside the files, or we could point to an external API. But anyway, with that being said, I'm going to link the code in the link description below. If you're wondering how I created that custom Strapi plugin to get the Strapi schema for types, let me know in the description below or any other questions you have around Astro or Strapi. But with that being said, thank you so much for stopping by, giving me your time, and I'll see you in the next video.